Hello everybody, this is Mr. Oily, also known as Iron Python, for episode 5 of my Let's Play series. This is going to be another sidestep. In my last sidestep, I showed you how to make this awesome looking lamp. Of course, I did it with glowstone, but I did say that you could do it with red power type systems as well. And you could probably do it with the uh, the redstone lamp that's now available, seeing as 1.2 is out, um, and all that fun stuff. I'm going to show you another interesting build. Uh, hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to switch it off and might as well conserve electricity, you know. Electricity doesn't grow on trees, it just grows on trees that have been buried for thousands of years and then reburnt. Yay! Carbon dioxide. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make this cool little window seal here. So let's go ahead and show you how to craft this glass column. Now, to craft the glass column, let's go ahead and switch over here. Glass column is if you put a glass panel strip in the middle. It basically converts it into a glass column. Columns are the ones that sit in the center where the glass triple panel strip are ones that sit on the side areas of the wall. Now to make one of these, all you need is a triple panel, which is basically three panels in a row, or a panel and a cover will make the triple panel strip. Then you put it on the side of any of the, chain, or the hand saws, and it will make you two triple panel strips. So two of these will make yeah, two of the uh, columns. Now... Um, why you need a column, like I said, it gets put in the center, not the edges, and it's raining. Sunny. Now, uh, you're going to put it on this side, and it's going to cause a little bit of an interesting look here because you're going to get this like gap in the middle, but don't worry. Well, there's a reason for why I need you to put it that way now. Next, you want to get the nether brick um, cover strip, which if you don't know how to make that, you basically take one of the panels and you put the nether brick cover on the side here and it'll make it into a strip. Now you're gonna have to kinda look on the side here so you can get the inside of these columns and what I always do is I like doing the side and then the top and then I look underneath it and the reason why I look underneath it is it puts it on the opposite side of the same block. See as you can see uh, let's put it there too. So you can see now we got a whole like square on one side and then I can just go over here and do the same thing the side, the roof, and then the inside, and the inside of the top and the bottom. Now you got a cool little panel. And the cool thing about the column strip is you can do that on, well, both sides. Because of it being a column, it's right in the center, so it has equal gaps on all four sides um, of it. Not all six sides, because obviously two of the sides are going to be uh, touching the edge. I think that's correct. Ooh, I missed the roof here. There we go. Kind of. No, not there. Come on, you. There we go. Now that we have this, let's go ahead and put some little knobs. Now, we don't want the knobs on the outside because then creepers will just open it up with their, well, face because they don't have hands. Um, put a little knob in there, and there you go. You kind of have like a cool little window frame. I kind of like the look of it. It's, it's nifty, and the nice thing about it is besides the knob, the whole thing is only one block thick. So if you didn't have that knob there, you could pretty much just put a block right here. I'll show you. It's for a sec. There you go. So you can put a block pretty much right in front. You can do that on both sides. So it doesn't take up actually any space at all, just as much as a single block. So it's not too bad. Now I'm going to go ahead and put a little window uh, planter out here. There's two ways you can do it. I'm going to show you the more beneficial way. Put some dirt blocks there. Then you want to take some panels of any kind. I'm going to use the wood one because I like the look of it for outside. You could use the pan uh, the planks, but I don't really like the look of planks too much. I'm just going to switch that around. And then, obviously, because of the corners, you want to put the strips there. Now, you already know how to make all that, so I'm not going to show you. And then you can put whatever you want. You can put some flowers. I kind of like these flowers because they're big uh, compared to like the tiny little flowers that Minecraft gives you in the vanilla texture pack. So, you know, they kind of fill up more space, and they're part of the red power world generator thing, so it kind of adds that cool little look. So that's one way you can make a planter, and the reason why I like this one better is you can actually put something on top. Now, another way you can make a planter is you can take one of these dirt column slabs, no, dirt anti-cover strip, sorry, <laughs> they have different names for each one. Now, the dirt anti-cover strip is basically a dirt anti-cover strip, wait, that's not right. You. <laughs> dirt anti cover strip is crafted by a dirt anti cover with this on the side, and it'll make a dirt anti cover strip. To make a dirt anti cover, it's basically 
like three covers and a panel. So there's multiple ways of different forms of it to make it. And what it is is basically a dirt anti cover. If I can quickly grab this, I, I'll just grab it out of something else. There we are, rubber wood anti cover. All right, so what an anti cover is, is basically put you right there. It's a solid block on all sides, but one side has a slit, uh, a strip thickness missing from it. And um, this basically has that strip missing from two different sides. But somehow I got that off on the wrong side. Hmm. I think I put the anti cover strip wrong because what it's supposed to have is, if I can get it on the right side, where are you? There we go. See, um, now it has a strip missing on both sides. So I put it down wrong. Um, actually, I should have, I guess, kept that one up. There, is that right? There we go. Okay. So you gotta have to like, put it in the upper corner of the wall to get it to have the strip on both sides. And the reason why you want to do that for this design, if it will let me, you can put the panels on it and it will fill in the thickness of a single block. So it kind of looks better in a sense because you don't have to like put these corners in. But the only problem is because it's not considered a full dirt block, you can't put flowers on top. So yeah, that is kind of a downside to it. Um, that you have to think about if you want to have flowers on it or if you want to make it look more like an actual default Minecraft size block. Either way, I hope that you found this kind of entertaining and maybe use it in your own build. Um, either way, this is Mr. Willie signing off and I shall see you in episode 6 when I continue my Let's Play series and maybe kill some awful creepers. Mmm, creeper stew. If you haven't ever tried creeper stew, it's quite explosive. Either way, this is Mr. Willie signing off. Adios.